If you don't breathe from the abdomen, you don't fill your lungs all the way to the bottom. Why is this important? Well, our lungs have a certain capacity because that's the amount of oxygen your body needs to be at maximum health. If you only half fill your lungs, you might as well be only filling one lung fully. And I think you'd agree that choosing to fill only one lung is not a healthy way to live. All of our cells need oxygen and cells that are deprived of oxygen die. Now, oxygen is transported to the cells through the blood. And if your blood is not carrying a full load of oxygen, your heart has to pump faster in order to transport more blood to carry the oxygen to the destination. So when you breathe properly, your heart can afford to beat more slowly because your blood is fully loaded. So breathing more deeply is not just about getting oxygen to the cells, it's also about having a healthy heart. You may notice two things doing these exercises. One is yawning. This is perfectly normal because carbon dioxide is building up in your lungs and yawning is one way of expelling a sudden buildup of carbon dioxide. Perfectly normal. Try not to give in to it. So if you're doing, uh, take, say, this one, that's the point at which you might feel like yawning. Try to hold the breath there. Try not to give in to the yawn. Try to hold the breath until you have the right moment and you're here and you're ready to exhale and then control the exhalation. However, if you give in to the yawn and it just comes out, it's no big deal. What could be a big deal is if you feel dizzy. And this is a perfectly normal reaction uh, to a sudden increase in the level of oxygen that your brain is receiving. Perfectly normal. Don't worry about it, but pay attention to it. So when you're starting these breathing exercises, have somewhere nearby where you can sit or lie down so that if you start to feel dizzy, please sit or lie down immediately. If for whatever reason you're unable to stand or unable to stand for long, then you can do these exercises sitting down as long as your back is straight. So don't slouch in your chair, stay sitting up straight in your chair. That's perfectly fine. To show you the correct movement, I'm going to take my top off, so be warned. If, like me, you're excessively fond of ice cream, you may be carrying a few extra kilos here. And so you might be tempted to constantly hold things in, forcing yourself to breathe up here. Well, let's see why that's wrong. Just here, you've got a curved muscle. A sheet of muscle called the diaphragm and the main purpose of the diaphragm is to help you breathe. When the diaphragm is relaxed it's curved like this and when you tense it it flattens out pushing downwards. That flattening creates a vacuum in the lungs and forces you to draw air in. That's the natural way to breathe. That's how small children breathe. So if you've got small children Watch how they breathe from down here and not from up here. For whatever reason, adults, or even older children, when they start copying adults, tend to hold in the abdomen. So when they take a deep breath, they do this. Why does all this move? Because you're refusing to allow this to go anywhere. The diaphragm wants to push down. But when you hold your abdomen in, it can't. So that expansion of air has to go somewhere, and so it comes up here. And this disturbs your posture, and it also doesn't allow you to fill the lungs, because you're not drawing air down into the bottom. So when that doctor said to breathe like this, he was plain wrong. So what do you need to do? You need to allow all of this to relax, no matter how ugly you think it looks or feels. Breathing in. When you breathe in and relax 
this, be careful not to slouch. Be careful to avoid this. Hips don't move. Thank you.